Thank you, madam. Okay. So, good morning to all. I I would like to thank the Sri Nehru Mahavidyalaya College of Arts and Science Institute of Management to give me a wonderful opportunity to deliver my talk, the merging life with chemistry. So, first of all, before I uh, going to speech, I would like to thank the principal, Dr. B. Supramani and uh, HOD of Chemistry, V. Sudha Madam and also my special thanks Dr. Indubadi Madam to give me a wonderful opportunity to share my knowledge. So thank you once again. So let's go to our uh, topic. So merging life with chemistry. So why I choose this uh, topic? Because as a chemistry student, so this is my topic, the merging of life with the chemistry. So basically we are uh, here, the uh, uh, chemistry student is there, I think so. So first of all, we must know that our body, the body chemistry. So life is means our uh, human body and uh, world, plants, animals are something etc so these all are is combined with the chemical compounds so you mu we must know that the uh, particular uh, role of uh, chemistry aspect so first we go to talk about the our body so some scientists say that the human body is a walking periodic table so since the uh, since in consist uh, contain the variety of chemicals uh, found in our environment so every body is made of chemical is it true let's find out yes the many uh, parts in our body there are role in chemistry aspect the chemical compound that are uh, involved in many place because of nowadays we are expecting the covid 19 drugs so only for the chemical compound we are expecting so day to day life right first of all what is inorganic organic compound as a chemistry students we we know we must know that the inorganic organic compound <coughs> the inorganic compound is a chemical uh, uh, first of all the inorganic compound is that the composed the orientally the molecule is bonded in ionically the organic compound is bonded in uh, covalently so we know uh, uh, we know very well so actually the two categories of compound 
two categories of uh, consist of the um, two two categories of following the organic compounds that mainly the consist of the carbon hydrogen a uh, build up the human body so certain salt sodium chloride calcium chloride which are the inorganic compound existing in the human body in dissolving the water so so today um what is the uh, uh, main uh, topic uh, may consist of our top uh, uh, title is covered with uh, our body is made up on the chemical component so what are the chemicals present in our body what are the role in our uh, uh, body so this is a uh, um, today i am aim to to deliver my talk uh, in this uh, webinar uh, first of all next the water is a very important uh, chemical compound we must know that the h2o the regulate the homocystic of the body is not able to function the proper properly so without water we cannot live in this world because of water is very important so water molecule is h2o two molecule two hydrogen molecule on oxygen so we know so first of all the more than 62 percentage of our body is water the percentage depend on the uh, age on the human body the daily consumption of water is approximately 3 liters definitely the amount of water may be the from the variety of source food metabolism and drinking and extra so without water we cannot live in this world so because of water is the universal solvent you know so the many role and many metabolism process in uh, uh, day to day life are every minute uh, done in our uh, human body so water is very important it is one of the chemical compound another acid and bases and salt so what is acid so when it is any compounds release the h plus uh, positive ions that is called as a acid so at the same way oh minus is negative ions that is produced in the oh minus that is called as a base so these all are is uh, acid or base are react with the involved in the formation of the salt will be obtained in case of uh, oh minus and h plus is combined and salt will be formed so when is uh, acid is react with base the produced of salt and this water this process is called as a neutralization so every day so our stomach having the hydrochloric acids and uh, so we take some solid food or uh, basic foods uh, in a uh, uh, orally so suddenly the acid and base uh, react with uh, and the energy will be released then the um, solid formation will be formed this is for the daily uh, daily daily uh, uh, consist in our uh, uh, stomach so another one important point is acid base or solid so here the ph is very important ph is uh, already we know that the numerical scale measurement acidic or alkalinity is called as a ph scale it is a number of uh, number between the 0 to 14 already we know the 0 to 7 is a acidic nature and then 7 to 14 is alkaline nature in case of any food is a uh, acidic nature that is a ph is uh, range in 0 to 7 other the 0 to 7 uh, 7 to 14 that is called as a alkali nature the 7 is neutral that is our blood and uh, water so everything is neutral so this is a neutral uh, ph we are taking in uh, in a day to day life in uh, our body actually the <coughs> order uh, in order to homocyst of uh, maintaining the human body the body fluids including the flood Uh, uh, needs to have the relatively consist of ph so in case of our blood is uh, maintained in ph it's normally our body is normally in case of ph level is change that is called as uh, some disease will be affected in our body so ph is very important so uh, as a chemistry student we must know that the ph is very important power of hydrogen then another one point so i am going to talk about buffers so we must we know very well the buffer so why is the buffer buffer is using so ph is maintaining that is a very important point so here our body buffer is carbonic acid h2co3 so it is a h2o and co3 and hco3 minus h plus so this is the continuous chemical reaction will be appear so balance with the carbonic acid as a buffer solution the strong acid or base appear in the human organism it may be the destruct of human cells the substance called as buffer the combination of weak acids or weak base and their the respective salt of solution help 
to the body fluids to resist the change in pH and the metabolism of the uh, balance of the organism. So another point, the, we well know that hemoglobin. So hemoglobin is a chemical compound. We, the, as a chemistry uh, students, we must know that the Fe is a ion, Fe2 plus is ion and uh, this uh, is uh, for the protein, it's a globin. This is the organic compound, this is for the uh, metal. So this uh, hemoglobin is consist as a uh, organometallic compound. So this is a role, very important role in uh, human body because of the uh, transport, uh, the transport uh, duty of uh, uh, carbohydrate, uh, for example, oxygen and carbohydrate, sorry, carbon dioxide, there are the inhaling of the oxygen and the releasing of the uh, carbon dioxide duty. So that also it is due that uh, transport work. So another one is carbohydrate. The carbohydrates are the major source of the energy for most of cells. So they can be broken down uh, in the cells in order to energy to be releases. The composition hydrogen, carbon and oxygen are ratio twice the much hydrogen as a oxygen. So we must know that uh, the carbohydrate is uh, many kind of division. Glucose, fructose, sucrose, maltose. So so these all are is the carbohydrate so these type of structures we must know that everything is chemical compound everything is chemical uh, structure aldehyde ketone alcohol some other uh, uh, groups as there so we take uh, so this is the energy source of our body so as a chemistry student we must know that the carbohydrate is a completely the chemical compound then another is the carbohydrate foods they, there are the many natural or uh, artificial foods uh, made up on the carbohydrate so this is the energy source of the uh, our body another one is fat the fat is the our mo molecules the rich energy are so uh, source of the foods uh, food reserve in the long term useful fuels so this is for uh, the first energy is in our body the, we have our body is first energy uh, carbohydrate second energy protein third energy is the fat the fat is a uh, the long term fuel so in case of we have not, we have uh, food or protein or carbohydrate so suddenly fat will be give the uh, energy to our body so there are the two types saturated or unsaturated fatty acids there are the st uh, stored in organism the form of neutral uh, fats or the triglycerides uh, tri uh, so each molecule is composed with glycoglycerol and fatty acids. The two types of fatty acids exist. On saturated acids, for the there is no any double bond, only for the single bond is available. Unsaturated fatty acid that is oil. So liquid room temperature is possible. So we, every day we take the oil for uh, cooking oil. The, they give the fatty uh, acids in nature in our body. So these type of foods are uh, the fatty acids are given. The fatty acids are the other good fat or bad fat is there. So in case of we take the good fat that is called as uh, uh, the good uh, good for our health. In case of the bad fat uh, that is called as yeah, the the bad fat is ba uh, its illness to our body. Yes. So another one important important point is phospholipids. What is phospholipids? There are the fatty compounds containing the alcohol, fatty acids, and phosphate groups. PO4, 3 minus, often the linked with the nitrogen. Uh, containing the groups there are the two fatty acids uh, combined with the glycerol or glycerol with the passport and alcohol there are the composition in our body so every phospholipids has the hydrophobic hydrophobic head and non-polar tiles so this is an important the phospholipids build cell to membranes and there are the all arrangement of waters loving heads one of on one side on uh, tile to the others so this is for the role of mechanism so every uh, fatty acids uh, combined with the glycerol, phosphate, alcohol. There are the so uh, uh, mechanism of the uh, phospholipids. So another important point, one of the derivatives of steroids that is uh, uh, from the there are the fat soluble compound component of four bonded carbon ring consists of the seventeen carbons. So example for cholesterol. So this is for steroid. So our body having the male sex, uh, male and female sex hormones for only for steroid, testosterone, 
progesterone, testosterone, this all are is the chemical compound is this. So steroid hormone helps to regulate the certain pace of metabolism in the body such as the perpetual, the menopauses and etc. So this is uh, also is one of the chemical component in our body to roll in a very important uh, point. Another point, the protein. The protein is very very important to organic compound. This is composed most of tissues of the body. So our body made up and the building blocks is uh, formation of the using with the uh, proteins. They contain the carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen. Sometimes the sulfur is sulfurases and uh, ions. Uh, the protein form of enzyme. So this is for uh, making, building make. Enzyme is uh, one of the uh, paste to combine the A and B. To combine with A, B is formed and A, B protein will be formed and the enzyme will be released. So enzyme is a catalyst. So protein forms of enzyme that control chemical activity during the breakdown of the food molecules in, this, uh, in the stomach. The product, uh, product uh, as the agent uh, disease in the form the antibiotics carry, carry oxygen throughout the body. So make up the sum of the hormones, express the genetic information and serves to indicators. So protein is uh, made up uh, very important to our uh, body. So here we see some uh, protein foods, egg, or, uh, nuts, some meats, so uh, milk. So these all are is a good protein to our health. So everything is a chemical common. Another one important point is made upon the protein. How to form the protein? The amino acids are combined with uh, building uh, unit top proteins. So here you see they are always containing the amino acids NH2 groups or COO groups. There are the two functional group is there. Because of amino acids the bifunctional group acids and amines are there. There are the uh, 22 amino acids living in our organism. However, there is a long variety of combination. Can we create more than uh, 50,000 proteins in our organics, organism? Here the uh, proteins. The, there are the two types of proteins is combined with. One is acid group. Another one is amine group is combined with. Uh, joined with the peptide bond will be formed. So this is due to the long chain into our body. So building blocks of our body will be the cell is growing. Uh, the every second the metabolic process mitosis meiosis process will be done in the based on the peptide uh, linkage formation right so this is for one of the chemical reaction you see the bond for the uh, acid the COOH group and amine group there are the OH and H will be uh, eliminated uh, then water molecule is uh, so so this is for the uh, fundamental concept of the creating uh, uh, peptide bond formation so another one is liquid nucleic acids so we know very well the nucleic acids is a very long and complex molecule there are uh, there can be body the hereditary message for the regulate the uh, uh, synthesized protein so because of the uh, nucleic acids uh, role in uh, uh, main uh, uh, block in uh, nucleic acids called as a nucleotides in 1869 swiss physicist the princess the Misler, the first isolation term in, from the nucleic <coughs> human pus cells. So there are the two types of nucleic acid, deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA and ribonucleic acid, RNA. So these two type of uh, uh, DNA, RNA in our body, the, uh, our cell having. So, so this is a fundamental role in our uh, body, uh, character, uh, color, our, uh, 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 knowledge. So everything is uh, created in RNA, DNA. Uh, role in our body so you see the double dna double double helix so here the adenine guanine thiamine cytosine you see here adenine thiamine cytosine everything is chemical compound you see the base uh, material uh, <coughs> here a cytosine uh, structure another here the guanine structure adenine structure so everything it is called this is a chemical structure the chemical structure is basically uh, bonded in uh, dna rna so this is a role the fundamental role uh, in our body so without chemistry so we cannot live so because of the, our human body is a walking periodic table so based on this uh, uh, <coughs> research so this is for the differentiation with the dna and the rna <coughs> another one important point atp so energy that is the produced from the chemical reactions the so body stored in small organic molecule it's called as atp atp means adenosine triphosphate it is an organic molecule so energy is needed in case our body having the energy is needed atp is broken down through the hydrolysis and release the necessary of energy 
so whenever we want the energy so loss of energy suddenly our bo our body is stored in uh, atp so atp is hydrolyzed and energy will be given so here the for mechanism of atp to adp adenosine triphosphate to pi uh, pi uh, inorganic phosphate so energy will be released so this energy is our needs to every minutes so here the phosphate and bond energy here so the phosphate bond so this is the the fundamental concept of uh, our body human body so human body or animals or some other uh, plants so every living organism so the same concept will be done in any so atp is already uh, adenine triphosphate is a chemical compound it is a hydrolysis in uh, hydrolysis and uh, energy will be released in our body right so atp energy is uh, released like this so in case of adenine uh, ribose means ribose atp and then phosphate so whenever the energy is want the mechanism will be done this type of right okay another one important point our vitamins uh, in our body the vitamins and organic compound and and the essential neutral that is the organism required to limited amounts the human body there are 13 virus uh, the 13 vitamin is there the four four fat soluble a d e k and nine water soluble eight b uh, vitamins and vitamin c so water soluble vitamins dissolve the easily in water but uh, the in general are readily to exacted uh, extract uh, the our body uh, to the decrease of urinary output in the uh, st storage strong uh, predictor of the vit uh, vitamins and consumption so another important point you have vitamin a so vitamin a is uh, uh, very needful to our body why because of uh, our eye is needs to vitamin a because of eye uh, vision uh, is uh, <coughs> running mechanism is uh, chemical compound for example uh, retinol is a vitamin a this is for the vitamin a structure this structure name is all retinol all trans retinol all trans retinol here the alcohol group is there in case of all trans retinol the alcohol is oxidized at uh, to all uh, aldehyde and then it is a uh, trans position to cis position 11 cis retina retinol another one it is all trans retinoic acid so this is the reaction for alcohol to aldehyde aldehyde to uh, trans to cis and cis to uh, retinoic acid this is the fundamental uh, concept of uh, our uh, uh, eye vision so this is the mechanism of action of retinol uh, for night vision so it is a uh, obs obsin it is uh, formation of 11, uh, 11 uh, cis retinol to form and then it is at uh, all trans retinol will be uh, uh, formed so this is the mechanism you see here the 11 cis retinol uh, retinol uh, retinol and to this is for the 11 trans retinol enzyme so this is the fundamental uh, concept so in case of this mechanism is a retinol trans uh, visual light into nerve signals into retina of eye the retinoic acids required to uh, structural compound of cones and rods of eyes the cones in the retina and the responsible for the vision under the bright lights the translate object to color color uh, color of the vision the rods is uh, rods in the retina the responsible for the vision in dim lights the translate object of object to uh, black and white visions so this is for the mechanism of uh, eye vision so needs to vitamin a is very important so vitamin a is also it is a chemical compound and another one is minerals so our the uh, our body needs to calcium to build the strong bonds and teeth potassium sodium magnesium phosphates uh, chlorines trace minerals so these are of essential nutrients those uh, the your body needs to cannot produce the include the inorganic substance found in the food uh, known as the minerals so so minerals vitamins are very important to our body so the, these both are is the completely chemical compound to uh, run our body so without the minerals without the vitamins we cannot live this uh, properly right another in biological work in humans for example the performance of mechanical work the chemical work of biosynthesis of macro molecules active transport molecules in ions containing of various substance in our in and out of cells 
you see the cell of uh, molecules every we are doing some works in our body the uh, carbohydrate will be uh, ener uh, converted into energy protein is converted into energy lipid is converted into energy so the storage is energy storage is atp so this is for the the biological work in the humans so as a we uh, chemistry the life with chemistry the our body is also it's one of the made upon the chemicals the working periodic table so we conclude this uh, the compound having the many kind of uh, chemical component role in our body so another one point is uh, the natural product so natural product is uh, very important a uh, natural source animals uh, to produce the various natural source plant microbes and animals the natural product can be the entire organism plant animal microorganism the part of organism to leaves flowers plant isolation of animals some other the extract of organism in part of an organism to an exuctate to pure compounds for example alkaloids humin flavonoids so st steroids terpenoids everything these are the compound are using in the medicinal aspect so 18th century so you see the 18th century of crude drugs are still being used of the powder powder uh, simple extract of uh, tincture and then era to pure of 183 the new era of uh, historic medicine isolation of morphine from opium the uh, styrene uh, styrene quinine caffeine nicotine atropine and co conine so this type of uh, compound is natural compound is isolated from uh, natural natural compound so here you see so, madam is a presenting hello sir uh, madam uh, ppt is visible yes sir ppt is visible madam yes sir yes sir okay okay thank you thank you is there any disturbance please ask me madam okay okay madam okay, okay. yes so this is for uh, 18th century there are the many natural compound is present so here the 19th century the chemical structure of many isolated compound were determined using uh, the 20th century of discovery of uh, important drugs to isolated from animal kingdom so particularly the hormones and vitamins in addition to the microorganism have the become the very important uh, source of the drugs so first first is this uh, uh, alexander fleming is uh, isolated from the penicillin penicillin notatum so this is for the very good antibiotic in uh, uh, nowadays so so this is for alkaloids the good alkaloids you see the pepper are uh, the important compound is piperin is uh, so in this day is uh, we are using the pepper is very important uh, compound because of many kind of uh, disease will be cure so what does the compound is present uh, that uh, pepper molecule uh, that is a piperin compound is there so this is for the uh, tertiary amine is there tertiary amine is there this is for the spicy nature another one important point is uh, another one important point is capsicum so this is also structure for the uh, capsicum structure the red chili so this is the primary amine is present so this is for the alkaline another one is good and bad alkaloids the every day we take uh, we drink the coffee and tea so coffee are uh, having the caffeine alkaloid and tobacco having the nicotine alkaloid so if you take the coffee is uh, uh, central nervous system is stimulated and also it's a tobacco uh, some other uh, cigarette uh, some other uh, 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 branded so there are using uh, peoples so nicotine is as uh, uh, the bad alkaloids so it is also is in stimulate the central nervous system so another one is hemlock plant so this is the form, uh, most famous victims of the hemlock poisonous in the uh, philosopher uh, socrates after being the acute the impiety the and corrupting uh, the young man of athens in in 399 bc so his the uh, trial to result that he is uh, being the contaminated to death so the hemlock plant having the chemical compound is conine so in case of we take the plant so suddenly we will be death because of due to the conine is alkaline compound 
another one is terpenoids so every day we take uh, the ginger ginger berry ginger berry ginger berry means ginger <coughs> and also mint so uh, ginger having the ginger berry compound so this is called the terpenoid compound and also it is a mint also it's a menthol so these all are is a chemical compound so it is used to uh, uh, very helpful to our body so as a we are chemistry we proud that so every natural compound every chemical compound uh, every human body also is a uh, made up on the chemical compound so another one is uh, the lime so lime having the limonone compound so these are all the uh, inducing our uh, immunity power in our uh, human body health body right another one is a uh, um, uh, natural rubber it is a rubber tree so we are isolated from the <coughs> natural rubber is so this is the structure of the rubber then it's a turmeric so turmeric we, day, we, we are using every day it's uh, uh, in our kitchen so turmeric having the curcumin uh, compounds it is a natural compound so this compound is used to the anti uh, anti uh, drug anti <coughs> anti cancer anti accident so there are the many kind of uh, anti inflammatory so antiseptics so this compound is role in the uh, tartar form uh, the quinol form and keto form there are the many kind of uh, biological aspect in uh, day to day life so the chemist chemical structure is uh, curcumin another one important point some natural compound is isolated from the animals so for the uh, uh, snake bite so for uh, for example the uh, frog so these are we are isolated from some uh, dangerous uh, uh, chemical drugs so another one is alexander plumbing so he find out the penicillin drugs so so nowadays there are uh, the previous uh, that is a uh, naturally we are uh, isolated some compound after that is uh, many kind of uh, difficulties there are we uh, provide the number of extremely using the drugs that uh, difficult to if not is possible to produce the commercially by the synthetic means so nowadays we are using the synthetic drugs only for salicylic acid aspirin ifobrepin and spiria so this is utility the prototype of the made to uh, ma model of the synthetic drugs process, uh, processing the physiological active similar to the org uh, uh, originally so so this is for fundamental aspect of the uh, our body to run the um, day to day life uh, uh, the natural aspect so let us see so another one important point in the day to day life the chemistry uh, is uh, doing in uh, uh, our life so let's to um, chemistry behind the spirituality so let us start this is a different topic <coughs> um, so consists to oh, there are the two biogenic energy divest means to energy transfer to biological biological works within the living organism so aerobic and anaerobic bre breakdown of the wood nutrition would be provided the energy source of the uh, synthesized chemical compound for the fuel biological work so for example in case of uh, we want energy so we take the food uh, so, so we take the food uh, we are we are isolated from the, our food uh, uh, to energy but some energy types of energy there are the two types of energy is there is a potential energy and kinetic energy the stored inactive ability to work of the uh if it is a not working to our time so in case of uh, we are studying about the physical chemistry there are the two type of energies there the one is the potential energy another one is a kinetic energy so potential energy is uh, only for stored kinetic energy only for the active so here is uh, one image for uh, this stone for uh, moving to up uh, there is no uh, there is no any energy is uh, in this type because of uh, crane would be a uh, push down then it is after that it is a uh, uh, in the peak of here the stone will be released so suddenly the stone is the potential uh, energy is converted into kinetic energy so energy is converted into here so here the important point there are the two types of energy is potential energy kinetic energy so every body having the potential energy in case of some energy is uh, released that is at as uh, acted as a uh, kinetic energy so forms of energy the during the energy conversation la loss of potential energy from the one source to often the produce to increasing of the potential energy another source so because of source of energy sun 
so we are living uh, with the sun energy so every day the plant is uh, photosynthesis reaction is uh, uh, help up with the sun rays water and carbon dioxide and uh, we are uh, taking some uh, air and food so everything and a chemical reaction is uh, run with the uh, sun the, because of we conclude that is our uh, sun is the source of the energy thank you thank you very much Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much.